Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look. This is my everyday makeup um, look. I wear this every single day to work in most of my videos. Wherever I'm going, this is just my go-to look. Or The only thing I do is change the lips up depending on what mood I'm in. Um, but it will usually be a matte lip because I am obsessed with matte lips. Um, but this makeup tutorial has been very highly requested. Um, all I basically do is a winged eyeliner and um, some falsies, but you, you guys seem to want me to do it, so I have. Um, if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so this is me, fresh face. I really do not have perfect skin. I've got dark circles under my eyes, um, which are just genetic. I always have them, even if I'm tired or if I've had 20 hours sleep, I still have dark circles. Um, I do have spot prone skin, so I do have to be careful what products I use. So at the minute, I haven't got any breakouts, luckily, because I'm filming this video. Um, but I've already I've already started my, um, I've already done my skincare routine, so I have cleansed and I've applied eye cream and I've applied my moisturiser, this is a really really important step because it helps your foundation glide on so much smoother, it won't cling to any dry patches and it's just a must, you have to do that step. The next thing you want to do is apply a primer, um, at the minute I am not using a primer, um, because I find that my foundation stays all day. At the moment, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, so this does stay for me. But if you find that your foundation moves, I would definitely recommend a primer, or if you have large pores. Yeah, my sort of primer I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Um, this you can use um, as a base, you can use it over your foundation, or you can mix it in with your foundation, and it just gives a really, really, really nice glow. Because it's winter, my skin, um, I've got very oily skin but at the minute I find my skin's quite dry because of the weather so this really gives it like the oomph it needs because it, it's looking quite dull at the minute. Um, but yeah this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. So yeah, this is just going all over my face. Um, especially in the centre of my face because that is where I want the most glow. I'm going to go on to foundation. Um, the foundation I'm using is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Spiced Sand. And I'm just going to use um, my large PS Pro foundation brush that I got from Primark to apply it. Dip your brush in there. And then I just sort of stipple it all over my face. So once that's stippled on, I'm just going to use circular motions to just blend it into the skin. I just find this brush is amazing because it makes it so quick. It blends it so quick for me. It blends it really evenly as well so I definitely recommend this. So now we're going to move on to concealer. Now at the minute I am using um, the Unique Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer and this is in the shade, in the shade Tap for Tap. Yeah, I've just put my concealer down my nose, under my eyes, my chin and then also the centre of my forehead. Now I will use concealer as well um, if I have any spots I need to cover but at the minute I'm alright so I'm just using, I'm just using concealer for brightening. Um, I'm then going to go over the top of that with um, Soap and Glory's Trick and Treatment. This is just going to really brighten up these areas and really give you that glow. PS Pro brush, this is the medium size now. And I'm just going to work that into the skin. What I like to do is sort of pat and push rather than rub. Because I feel if you pat and push, it sort of stays in that, in that area. Okay, so concealer's on. So now that that is on, I'm going to just set it. So I'm using my Rimmel Lasting Finish, I'm using it with this domed Morphe brush. It's really nice for like under your eyes. So I'm just taking that on my brush and I pat that under my eyes. I really pack it on because I don't want my concealer to crease. So I pack under my eye and I'm making a weird face. And then, yeah, I just sort of pat it wherever I put concealer. And then for the rest, I just sort of swipe on. And this technique, like, with all these products, works really well for me. It, my foundation always lasts all day. So, 
from Love It at the minute. So that is our foundation on. So now we're going to move on to eyebrows and we're going to be using the Wonder Brow. Um, this is in the shade Brunette. And with that, I'm going to be using an angled brush from Ruby and Millie. I'll take a little bit on the back of my hand again. And then I just dip my brush into there, get the product on there, and then we can work on our eyebrows. So I just start by defiling the under part of my eyebrow to create more definition and to give the illusion of a stronger arch. And I also add some length to my brow as well. And I'm now just doing tiny little brush strokes to create a fuller looking brow um, and this is just a tiny look at my brow routine so if you do want a more in-depth version let me know down below and I'll do a tutorial on it. Next what we're going to do is just to really make the eyebrows um, crisper and pop more and make sure that the line is really really um, sharp is we're going to put some concealer underneath um, our eyebrows and this will just help if you've messed up slightly and it's not as sharp as you'd like, you can just fix it with this. So this is the Collection um, Concealer in Medium. And I just take it underneath like that. 194 from MAC. I'm just going to um, blend that out. And this um, will also highlight your brow bone if you're using the lighter colour. Now next what I like to do is apply um, like a highlight using this by So Susan. It's called Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. All I do is just sweep it underneath my brow and just blend it out. Just to define my eye a little bit more. I don't really wear eyeshadow um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but I just do, do like to put something in the crease. This just makes your eye pop a little bit more and it just defines it. It's L'Oreal Glam Bronze and my shade is Brunette Harmony. So it looks like this. Um, and I'm just taking a large sort of angled fluffy brush. This one is um, from Morphe. Brush in there, flick it off, and then I'll just sweep it through the crease. It's so quick, so easy, and it just, there's not really much blend blending needed. That's it. Okay, so next we're gonna use um, liquid liner to do our flicks. I always have a winged eye liner, it's like my thing. Ever since I was in school, I've just always, always have had winged liner. Um, and the eyeliner I absolutely love is another L'Oreal product and it's the Super Liner. It's the Super Liner. So this is just a little speedy little look at how I do my liner, but basically I just start from the center of my lid and draw a flick outwards, and then I just go from the bottom of my eyelid and join the flick up from the bottom, and then I just fill in the space in between. If you do want a more in-depth tutorial on this, let me know down below and I will definitely do one for you. And that is my winged liner done. As you can see, I do like it quite dramatic. Um, I always have big winged eyeliner, it's just what I like. Um, and then I'm just gonna curl my lashes with these eyelash curlers. They're from Primark and they're pretty good to be honest. So I'm just gonna curl them. Um, I'm not gonna do it too much because I am gonna be applying at full C's. So just a quick, quick one. Then I'm going to be applying mascara and again this is just a quick um, thin coat because I'm applying um, false lashes. But this is the Red Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara and it's really really good. Really really good for a drugstore, well I think drugstore, drugstore mascaras are the best anyway. But just apply. one little coat like that. yeah so I'm so, I hope this tutorial is okay guys um, let me know if this is okay for you and if you have any tips for me please leave them down below because quite hard to film I think especially as I don't really have any proper lighting I'm just by my window and the sun keeps going in and out um, 
but yeah, there's my mascara, that's on. Now while that's drying, um, we're gonna move on to the face again. So I'm just gonna grab that bronzer I used before. Um, and we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. Now I don't like to contour a lot because my face is oval, so um, it can make me look quite gaunt if I go overboard. But I do like to do it a little bit. So I'm gonna be using, I don't know what, oh, number 300. This is uh, the Real Techniques blush brush, I think this is. Um, but I use it for contour because I like quite a fluffy brush when I contour. And I'm just swirling it into my bronzer, tapping it off. And I'm just gonna focus on the hollows of my cheeks. So, and then I go upwards. I don't really go for the strong line. I find like a fluffier brush just helps it blend. I do a tiny, tiny bit on my nose. Um, again, <laughs> if I contour my nose too much, I feel like I look like Michael Jackson. So we just do a tiny little bit. Just a tiny bit under my lip there. And then I also go top of my head. We're going to move on to blusher. So I like this brush for blusher. This is again another Real Techniques one. Um, the blush brush. Use Sun Basque from MAC. Um, I just find it goes with everything. Every eye look, every lip look. I think the sun is washing me out slightly. So I'll try and We are, it's quite pretty. Or should I use my trusty one that I always use? Let's go for this one because I don't know where my other one is. I usually use um, Soft and Gentle from MAC, but we'll go for this one. And I'm gonna apply it with a fan brush. This is from e.l.f. It's really, really good and really, really affordable. Um, it doesn't pick up too much product, um, just enough. So I'm just gonna swirl that in here. Tap it off again, and then we're just gonna hit the top of our cheekbone and the side down the nose and the tip of the cupid bow again and then I'm just going to take a tiny little brush from Real Techniques it's going to go into the inner corners of my eyes I'm going to move on to lips so today I'm going to use um, one of the Splash Liquid Lipsticks from Unique, just because it's new, I've just purchased it, so I wanted to use it. Um, it looks like this. This is in the shade Sentimental, like a muted purpley pink, so we're going to go for that, but yeah, you know I always switch my lipsticks up. So first I'm going to uh, use a lip liner with it. Now I tried a bright pink lip liner with it, but it didn't quite work. I feel like I need a purple lip liner but I didn't have any so I'm gonna use um, one of the Revlon Colorburst lipsticks uh, as an, a lip liner and this is in the shade Shameless so I'm just gonna line our lips like a muted purpley pink it's like a really nice autumn shade and I just I love the applicator I don't know whether you're able to be able to see it but it's thick at the bottom and then it has a really thin tip so the shape of it just fits your lips really well so just glides on really nicely and then the tip you can use for the edges Okay, so my favourite daytime lashes to wear are the Ardell Demi Wispies and that's what I'm applying right now Okay, then once you're happy with your eyelashes, you can just take your um, mascara again and just do a tiny little coat. And this will just help your real lashes blend with your falsies. So just a tiny little coat. You don't need a lot. And there it is, my everyday makeup look. 
Okay, so that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look. Um, what I use, what I wear to work every day, what I have on in most of my videos. I just change up the lip color really. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any other makeup looks you'd like to see from me down below and I'll try my best to do them. And if you have any tips and tricks on how to make uh, filming easier or better, leave them down below as well. And because I need all the help I can get, I think, with filming these. Till next time, guys, I will see you in my next video, and yeah, bye.